but we're kind of skipping Halloween this year. Say good morning. Good morning. Happy Halloween. 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 <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Today is Halloween, and I'm going to get the girls up and changed and dressed and all that. And I'm going to make them a Halloween-themed breakfast. So I will see you guys at breakfast. Before I do that, check out my bump, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I feel massive. Baby bump. So breakfast this morning. I've got some pancake mix made. I've got some red icing, and I figured since it's Halloween, we would have like a Halloween themed breakfast. And I thought that I would make pancakes in the shape of skeleton bones because it's like the easiest shape I can think of that I can actually do without having to have some kind of like um, cookie cutter or something like that. So I'm going to attempt this. <laughs> I'm not really an artist, so this will be interesting. And I have some red icing. Hi, Carly to put over the bones to look like blood. I thought that would be like a really spooky kind of breakfast. Are you ready? You wanna eat? I feel like I'm failing a little bit, you guys. Oh, I know you're hungry, baby. I'm cooking it. Look, see, cooking it. Here's my other like human bone. I have no idea if this actually looks like bones or not. I just know I'm trying. I didn't realize how pink my icing is until like right now. <laughs> so my pancake doesn't really look like a skeleton bone and my icing is pink. But, oh well, who cares? You'll still eat it, right? Will you still eat it? Yeah, you will. Okay. We just got done with breakfast and the girls are in the room playing, which is like a big shock because they're like never in there. <laughs> they're usually in the living room with me. But we're kind of skipping Halloween this year. And Dev and I talked about it and we both mutually agreed that it was just not an important thing to us this year. That the girls are still really little and they don't really know what that is or the fun of it or anything like that. So instead of spending money on costumes and makeup and all that stuff, we decided to put that money towards Christmas layaway. So we've done that already. <laughs> we've already started on Christmas stuff because we really want the girls to have a good Christmas this year. And so we've already decided to start in October. <laughs> but I didn't want to just not celebrate Halloween. So I found like a different way to celebrate it. Kenley has a bumblebee costume that was given to us months ago. So I think I'm going to dress her up in that. And we have a pirate mask from the Bubble Brain Box. So Carly can just wear that. And that'll be like our Halloween dress up this year. And I'm going to just make a whole bunch of like Halloween themed food. I bought a bag of candy. Not a huge big bag. Just a bag that would be enough for me and the girls and Devin whenever he's home. Because I know he'll eat it. And I bought some caramel apple lollipops which are my favorite. I love those. And we're also going to bake little pumpkin cakes. I'm going to make a pumpkin vanilla one and a pumpkin chocolate one. So I thought that would be like a really neat alternative way to celebrate Halloween. Everybody still gets to eat treats and candy and all that stuff. And we could just sit home and watch Halloween movies. Not scary ones for the girls, obviously. <laughs> but still, like Halloween themed stuff. I thought that was a good compromise. Kenley, look. Look how pretty. <laughs> Can I put this on you? Is that okay? Do you want to be a bumblebee for today? Do you? I've got a pirate mask for you, Carly. Oh, that's pretty, Mommy. I'm going to be a pretty bumblebee. <laughs> oh my goodness, you look so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh uh, yeah, I kept her pants on her because it didn't come with any pants. So, I just kept pants on her. You look so cute, Kenley. Yes, you do. She's like, whatever. <laughs> Carly, did you already go get your mask? I'm pretty sure she did. Huh? You didn't get it? No, those are the quills. This is the mask. Look. You want to wear it? Do you want to wear it? Come here. Put it on your face. 
Can you help mommy? Okay, I'm gonna have to help you. Carly is not wanting to wear the mask at all. You don't want to wear it? No. No? Well, okay then. Mommy, show me that. Is that the quill? You want to write with it? Huh? Hi, Bumblebee. Is this your dog? Huh? Is this your dog? And that's Sissy's? Okay. <laughs> oh, what are you fussing for? Oh, my goodness. I'm afraid Sissy's going to put it in her mouth. That wouldn't be good. Can you write with it? Hold on. Let me, let, let me, uh, where's the tape? There's the tape. I'm going to lay down some tape for you to draw on, okay? Here's the R. Do the R. No. R. No, no. You want to write with your right hand? <laughs> okay, you can do it backwards. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Hey. It's still your name. Yes, name. What? K. A. R. L. I. E. Carly! Do you want to lay down now? She feels a little warm. I don't know if she's teething. She might be. <laughs> Those molars are coming in very slow. <laughs> very, yes. Oh, gracious. Those molars are coming in so slow, Mommy. And they hurt really bad. I gave her some Tylenol to maybe help her out. Because you're not so miserable. I just put down the girls for a nap and I think I'm going to take one myself because I'm really tired and I've been having a really hard time sleeping lately. So I'm going to take a nap myself and we're all going to get up and probably start on dinner and our treats. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I woke up from my nap early so I can get started on the pumpkin cakes before the girls wake up because I want to give the cakes enough time to cool and rest and all of that before we ice them. And dinner's not going to take a long time to make. so. Uh, I'm doing the cakes first, and I have just a basic vanilla cake recipe here. Here is made, and this is the vanilla version. After I make the vanilla cakes, I'm going to make the chocolate ones. So I'm just going to add cocoa powder. And I got this little cute cake pan. I think this is really cute. I'm going to put my cakes in the mold, and that's going to be dessert amongst our other desserts today. So I just put the cakes in the oven, 350 degrees. I have no clue how long to bake this for because it's not like this tray came with a instruction manual or anything. I'm just kind of making this up in my own head. So I'm going to guess because they're small cakes. I'm going to guess maybe 15 minutes, but I'm going to check it after 15 minutes every like five minutes and just see where we're at. The girls are awake. I hear them in the bedrooms and I'm going to go get them. I'm going to make dinner so we can eat. Oh my gosh, you guys. My pumpkin cakes failed so bad. <laughs> Look at that. And I greased that thing like crazy. I mean, I really greased that thing. And still, it came out so, I don't know, like that. So, I'm going to just put it in a regular pan. This is the chocolate one. Put it in a regular pan, put it in the oven, and just see <laughs> if I can get some cake today. Because I really want some cake. I've been craving cake for like the past few days, and I want some. And I'm so upset. Oh, look, my pumpkin's even sad. It looks sad. Yeah, I'm sad too, pumpkin. But at least dinner came out okay, which it's not that hard to make. You just wrap biscuit dough around hot dogs and there you go. But I'm going to put little eyes on them and make like mummied uh, hot dogs, I think is what it was called. I, I looked it up on the internet to see if there was like anything special you could do to make it look more Halloween-ish. And all they really did was just put eyes on it. So, I got this and some mac and cheese over here. And we're just going to have a simple dinner tonight. So, this cake actually came out good. And I put some icing on it. So, I'm going to now let Carly... Hey, Carly. Hi, Carly. Hi, Carly. Put some sprinkles on it. And the... the uh, gosh, can't talk. They're really worth three different sprinkles. But I wanted something for her to easily shake it onto the cake in. That's what I had because, as you can see, this one's open and it could go everywhere. So, I combined these two. They're just yellow and white sprinkles. And these are in the shapes of little pumpkins. I don't know if you all can see that. Can you all see that? Anyway, 
She's gonna sprinkle it on our cake. Go ahead. Watch. She's gonna dump the whole thing. Watch. Go ahead. And yep. <laughs> I saw that happening. Wait, no, don't wait, no. Just let mommy do it. Okay, so that's the pumpkin side. Let's turn the cake around. You wanna add more sprinkles? Easy. Easy. Don't just splash them everywhere. Easy. Go ahead. Oh, yummy. Okay. <laughs> How about over here? There. That looks delicious. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what do you guys think? That looks pretty festive to me. I think you did a great job. You want a piece of cake? So we now have very festive cake with lots of sprinkles. Yes, lots of sprinkles. We have the caramel apple pops. We have this bag of candy with Hershey's and Reese's and Hershey's cookies and cream in it. And we're going to watch some Halloween movies and relax and eat some treats. Yeah, go ahead. I don't care. I'm not picky about you digging in cake. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wednesday, I have a really fun vlog planned, so I hope you stick around for it, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!